Now at 7.30, a Cal State Northridge student's biological discovery yields a student film worthy of Oscar recognition. The shocking truths she learned channeled into indelible art. This is the KTLA 5 News at 7.30. I'm Kareen Winter. And I'm Rick Chambers. It can be hard being a teenager and then harder still if you learn that your family it isn't, isn't exactly what you've known it to be. Our John Finolio has a story of personal discovery articulated through the art of filmmaking. Who am I? It's a student documentary film that led to a remarkable discovery. My film 2276 is a story about um, me and my twin sister Haley finding out at age 17 that we, through an ancestry test, um, that we were donor conceived. So you want to take one? But there's more to 22 year old Cal State Northridge student Sarah Sims' story. It all started with a pitch to her class last fall. My thesis, senior thesis students, come in on the first day of class and each of them has to pitch a story, uh, pitch a, an idea for a documentary film that can be produced in that semester. The students voted on four films to be produced that semester. Sarah's idea got the most votes from her peers. I think it was really because the heart uh, with which she told her own story. Our parents struggled with infertility for a long time and ended up having to use a sperm donor to conceive um, my sister and I. Family doesn't stop at blood. After Sarah and her sister learned their dad was not their biological father, they began asking more questions. I didn't want you girls to feel differently about me. So we kept that up quite a bit. It's, uh, um, and once you wait so long, then it makes it more difficult to tell you because it was a lie. I really want to do an ancestry test. Surprised by the revelation, Sarah dug deeper. We found out at age 17 that we also have about 10 half siblings around the, the U.S. She wasn't alone. Her half siblings were also searching for answers. Eventually they met. Sarah interviewed them for her film. I learned a lot about everybody and myself included. Um, yeah, a lot of realizations and we talk about a lot of our similarities between like my half siblings and I, and I, some of them I didn't realize until we all like unprompted started talking about them like in our own separate interviews. And I realized that we had a way more in common than I had thought. Um, and I also learned a lot about um, my relationship with my dad and his relationship with my twin sister as well. We value him so much as our father, he's the one that raised us. Um, and it doesn't matter that we have a biological dad. He is our dad, and that's that. Just don't let your eyes water too much. You may be wondering how she came up with the title 2276. It's the number that was assigned to her biological donor father. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Her film is a reminder that no single family is the same and that family isn't defined by our genes but built and maintained through love and commitment. I love you, sweetie. Sarah's film was so well received, it was recognized by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences as a semi-finalist in the student Oscars, and it continues to gain notoriety. Now, if you'd like to see it, you can find it on YouTube. We'll also post a link on our website, ktla.com. In the newsroom, I'm John Finolio. Back to you. A touching story. So beautiful. Yeah, it was nice. Wow.